good morning guys welcome to today today is the crack of dawn also known as six o'clock seven o'clock how did an hour go by today we are going on a trail ride with the girls when the girls have a friend over i swear there's a party going on when i'm in bed you guys see sam's already headed down to the barn takes the long way the girls and i take the short way so today's snacks for the trail are almonds i swear almonds give me so much energy i did so good last time with almonds i have some barbecue crispers and just in case the girls really need to pick me up i have a fudge covered oreo if you guys not have not ever had these these are the world's best cookies on earth i've got everybody i know in love with them addicted to them bought them and fed them to the girls all winter haven't been buying hardly any sugar lately, but I did splurge. Charging the batteries, making sure that we're ready to go. Maybe Kaylee will wear the GoPro today. It makes sense because she's going to be in the back. We have contestant number one awake and ready to roll. Are you riding today? To Are you riding today? Why? Because my horse is sore. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> If you guys don't know, Sophie and I are not big trail lovers, but I want to get into trails. Like, that trail, I think I could do. The reason Sophie and I are not riding today, Sophie... It'd be boring going on the same trail. Oh, I want to... I think it'll be fun. But the reason Sophie and I are not riding today is because you can only go as fast as the slowest rider. And I promised Kaylee and Gabby a fun ride. Not so much Gabby, because Gabby already had one. But Kaylee wants to, like, really get out and do some stuff with her horse. And it, she'd be stuck, they'd be stuck behind with me and Sophie, because we'd be, like, holding on for dear life. Although, I think Sophie could handle it. Alright, so the girls finally showed up for breakfast. Kaylee, your egg may be a little chilly because it's been a while. Let the record show that I fed these girls a very protein-rich breakfast so that they have energy for the trail. Who's got energy for the trail? They're gonna have energy for the trail. You guys may know that they probably stayed up really late last night. I set the clock for 11 p.m. and said, that's it, no staying up past 11. Gabby, did you feed your puppy? No. You need to feed your puppy before yourself. Yeah, Alright, Kaylee, tell the video tell the viewers. Compare your puppy, your male puppy, to our puppy. How do they differ? Um, Kaylee's like, I'm eating. That's so rude. I'll wait. Alright, so which puppy is quieter and calmer? Yours. <laughs> Which puppy is crazy like craziest? Molly. Molly. The craziest puppy. Which puppy is... Yeah, like, those are the only questions I got. <laughs> but basically, let the listen. Whose puppy's teeth hurt more? Whose puppy's teeth hurt? Your puppy's teeth hurt more? Uh, Kaylee's puppy is three days older than Molly. Isn't that crazy? Like, and she never even knew she was going to get a puppy. you guys people have been asking all right nobody asked but I'm gonna show you anyway uh, this is our dandelion pop it didn't carbonate the way it was supposed to it tastes better cold I should have cold made it cold all right try it it's good it's actually Brooklyn tried it Jacob drank it well, there's dandelions, in there. dandelions are good for you <laughs> Kelly. she's like wait well, you can spit it back in the cup if you want to <laughs> It tastes way worse if it actually carbonates. It tastes way better if it actually carbonates. It's tea. It tastes like iced tea. <laughs> no, I'm not trying. Oh my goodness. No, take a sip, though. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. I need it. It tastes like iced tea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And dandelions. Okay, so if you think I'll stick with my juice box thing. Whew, it is glorious and kind of chilly out here. This is how two girls walk in the 21st century. This is how 
about done, Kaylee. Watch this. Uh-oh. Show it off because you're here. Get up there. He self-loads usually. That's why we bought him. I was joking. He just had to smell the poo. Put the screen on. I've got my my vest. Somebody commented that you should uh, the rider should wear it. Well, unfortunately, it's ten times each the size. It's even big for me, so it does not fit them. Ideally, that would be good. We got Chino in the back. We got the girls putting on some sunscreen. Did you guys wear shirts underneath those hoodies? Yes, I didn't. Oh, so Gabby's gonna be going in a bra when it gets so hot. Sophie, what are your plans when we're on the trail? Car. Car. They like to sit in the car. Why don't we bring like lawn chairs? That would have been so much better. We're headed now to pick up Tex. If you guys are new to the channel, you might not know that Tex is Kaylee's amazing steed. He is faithful and loyal and amazing and my favorite color. He's a paint. And uh, if you haven't met him before, you're going to get to meet him today. But I think probably a lot of you guys follow Kaylee on Painted Dreams, her channel on YouTube. So you probably have all seen him and are familiar with him. the front the gate girl looks so she looks so happy the plan for today was to be here and pick up Kaylee's horse at 8 30 a.m. and we are leaving and it is 8 34 a.m. so we had timed it perfect you guys we are gonna beat the heat and the thunderstorm it was supposed to thunderstorm tonight at 6 p.m. but now I just heard on the radio that it might happen this afternoon <laughs> Let him have a looky look. You're okay, Tex. It's not what you made for, and there's nothing that is too late for. It is a little bit windy. I'm a bit concerned about that. But the best thing about coming first thing in the morning is that you have the ride, the trail to yourself. I have followed the girls all the way to the top, to the bottom of that big hill that Gabby went on last time, the one that kind of went up. Uh, they galloped up it and I lost them. I told them that I'd meet them back here because essentially me just trying to follow them is a waste of time. They're good on their own. I know they got this. So I'm going to try and meet up with them at another spot where they want to gallop. If you guys want to see what happened on the, the trail ride, then go ahead and watch the trail ride video. It will already be up. Most of you will probably already have seen it, but if you haven't, you might want to check that out. And then let's get on with today. Did they just come and take your poo? Yeah, Sam told them they could come today at one. They put it in their garden. It's expensive, good poo. Kaylee's like taking note for her farm. Luxury fertilizer. All right. Uh, uh, Finny is so anxious waiting for Chino. I can't wait till Finn's better and he can go on a trail with him. We uh, got where we were around quarter to nine in the morning and it's now noon, so it was like a lot of hours, a few hours of riding. There are people here getting horse poop, filled in bags filled with horse poop. And then another guy's come in at two today and then another guy's coming with a big truck uh, tomorrow. I can't remember, but another guy's coming. Like, we're getting rid of the poop. Uh-oh, our unicorn is, uh, had an accident. What? We need more chlorine. I knew that was going to be the case. So I'll have to go get more. It's almost. We'll get more tomorrow, two more, and it might clear it up. I'm so glad we waited to go on a trail today. Like, we were so close to going yesterday, and we would have all died. Today was so 
cool and windy and it was so nice. That minute you walk out into your front yard and there's a tractor and then you get excited because you have a tractor. I love the cold into my warm hands in the sun. Come on, little ragamuffin. Come on. Being able to lock Molly in the barn is helpful. We've been trying to bring her down to the barn as much as possible lately. I'm worried about that puppy, what she's getting into. Is the other door open? Molly! The other door's open? Come on, Molly! Gracie's like, I know what's happening here. We're getting to eat grass, but she's afraid of that. Uh -uh. what happens when you buy a uni giant unicorn. Also, this is what happens when you don't overfeed your ponies. We have so much hay, it's lasted so long. I think it will, it's because you gotta... It's like birth, just squish those shoulders through. Oh dear. Yeah, put it in the stall where the hay is. There's more room in there than in there. Nope, there it'll pop. No, there's no way. They got it out through the door. No, they never did actually. Yeah, I know. It's oh, I wouldn't do it. No. You can deplete it. You can do it. Pop. Almost. One shoulder's through. Come on, move. Molly's trying to get through. This is like birth, you guys. It's what happens when you give birth, Kaylee. Look, 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 look at the water. Look, Molly, look. I don't think Molly likes water. I do not think she's a water dog. Molly, Molly, look, Molly, look. Oh, there you go. You can climb right in there, cool off. That's your bucket. This is Molly's purple bucket. What do you think? Pretty good? I hear a lot of screaming. I heard a lot of screaming. What the heck happened? Meet Venti. He was trying to go through the window, but the window was closed. Oh, he's beautiful. He's purple and green. Yeah. Wait, let's see. Let's go outside so we can see Look, him. he's purple and green. Well, why, why are you holding a bird, Kaylee? Is my the real question here. Because he was in the house. How did the bird get in the house? I don't know. Look at the chimney thing? Yeah. He's, He's so really pretty. pretty. Can you flip him upside down? Hey, don't be mean. Okay. Don't be mean to the queen. Drop it. Thank you. <laughs> Listen. Don't be freaking rude. It's disrespectful. Kim Kardashian, is that you? It's disrespectful. Is it Stella? Because oh, they let me get really close hey, to hey, 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 hey. Well, I'm just glad we got it out of the house. Are we gonna? Don't let it go towards the barn. It's so pretty. Oh, goodness. It just hey, pooped on you, Kaylee. It just, it just... Throw it that way towards the poop pile. And don't be rough. Just let it go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Gabby whips the bird, but it's all a good ending. Oh, she's going back to the house. No, that was another one. She's still oh. there. There was a bird in the house, so they just grabbed it and brought it down, and then Gabby whipped it. Kind of a really pretty one. So uh, let the record show that my children and their friends are not afraid to touch any animal. You guys remember last year we used to clean this this paddock because it's so small and I used to take such pride in it. And then um, this year it went to heck. That's because we were overfeeding our horses and they got so much, they had so much poop in here and it was winter and cold and this was a nightmare, but I'm getting into it now. It's almost clean. I've been cleaning it a little teeny bit by little teeny bit. 
I have about three, maybe three wheelbarrows full and it should be fresh. I've now cleaned my house this entire day. That is how you know it is a good day. We are headed out to take Kaylee home now. camera's off it's blue it's been this blue color all day oh crap our camera got adjusted and everything was blue I don't know how long it's been like that hopefully it's not been like that all day but yeah we've been blue they're all at the watering hole they're all at the watering hole I think we're gonna have to start putting all the horses on grass in the morning before it gets hot because they get hot back there I don't know if you guys can see in the field that they're in there is shade you are my 